Oh yeah. <laughs> what is up guys? I am gonna show you today how to swap the thumb studs on your banter, baby banter, or any banter version that might come out in the future. I've heard from a lot of you that you want to be able to swap those studs, whether it's changing the colors, or you can attach the Glow Rhino thumb studs with Tritium Glow. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. You're gonna need a hair dryer, you're gonna need your banter, and you're gonna need some electrician's tape and two sets of pliers. That's glamorous, look at those, hmm, love it. Let's get into it, we'll go to the tabletop, I'll show you how to do it, but first, just a word of warning. You will void your warranty by swapping these thumb studs out. So, did you hear that? We're clear. You're voiding your warranty. We knives will not cover your knife. Warranty goes out the window, but you'll have a lot of fun. So, let's do it. So, first things first, let's do safety. Uh, I'm going to tape the blade of this baby banter with electrician's tape just to uh, keep it safe. If you feel like some sort of ninja, you don't need to uh, tape it but I'm gonna just strongly, highly recommend just take two seconds and tape up the blade of your banter. So I've taped that up, and then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to tape up the jaws of my tools as well. And the reason I'm gonna do this is you really kind of have to crank on these, on these tools, so I'm gonna to try to preserve the thumb studs as much as I can. The reality is they might end up scratched, and that's part of the risk you're taking here, is your titanium thumb studs may never be the same again. And uh, that is a risk. Um, this is not a beautiful job here, but you get the idea. I'm just gonna kind of try to tape over on these a little bit to soften the blow of the pressure I'm about to put on here. This is just black duct tape. Um, I put electrician's tape on the knife. You can put duct tape on there. It doesn't, doesn't really matter one way or another. Uh, gaff tape could also work, that sort of thing. So I'm just going to pull this all together. Super beautiful. May have to redo that before we're done here, but you get the idea. Basically, you're going to tape up your tools with the hope that you can still get purchase on the thumb stud because we're going to be sitting here cranking on this thing pretty tight, uh, but basically what you've got to do is try to preserve the titanium if you want. If you don't care and you're, th you're like, whatever, I'm not going to use these again, you could probably just go for it uh, bare on the bare metal and that'll actually work really well. But I'm going to recommend you uh, tape up whatever pliers you're working with. So the next thing is these thumb studs from Wii come with red Loctite, which means you are going to fight and battle to get these suckers off of here. That is part of the game we're going to play. So if you're not comfortable with that game, this may not be for you, uh, but that is what we're going to do. And because somebody's going to ask, these are unlocked composite carbon fiber scales, uh, aftermarket scales. I figured since I was going to customize with the Glow Rhino thumb studs, I might as well throw some aftermarket scales on there too. So warranty, definitely gone, voided. Uh, not coming back. So let's do this thing. I've got my hair dryer here and we're going to put it on high and I'm just going to sit here for a minute and blast these thumb studs until they, until they compromise, until they work with me, until they give themselves to my will. Maybe that sounds weird, but literally the couple times I've done this already, I've probably done it four or five times, this is going to be a bit of a battle. So hang with me. Let's do this. Two very boring minutes later. So I like to let them run for a minute, just because the fewer times I have to do this, the better. So while it is still hot, you're going to clamp it down with whatever pliers or channel locks or whatever you've decided to do. These are threaded um, counterclockwise. See, and this is why you want to tape it, because once you start cranking, things start to so I got to reshoot this for you real quick, guys, because uh, I got going and I got scared and I want to show you exactly how you do this. So basically you're clamping there on one side and you're clamping here on the other. And then you are rotating counterclockwise, lefty loosey, right? But one of these you're going to hold just in place. The other one you're going to be cranking with. And that's how you do it. Super simple. 
there, there, and then turn like this, and it will come right out. Uh, or it might not, you might have to battle. But there's my reenactment for you because I was scared for my fingers there for a minute. And that's part of the game, being scared. But don't be scared, just go for it. Ooh, guys, no way. No way. I got this first time. <laughs> that's the first time that's ever happened on camera. So basically what I had to do there is loosen up those thumb studs. And these are straight from the factory. They come with red Loctite. It's two sides. You've got a male and a female side. And those come right off like that. And essentially they screw together in this fashion. Now they red Loctite these suckers, which makes total sense. Like you don't want your thumb stud coming off under regular conditions. So where we're doing aftermarket parts today, like the fact that this is red Loctited is beautiful. Like that's great. That's how it should be. But it also could be a pain for you because you want them off of there. So this one was actually incredibly easy. Uh, historically, I have really had to fight to get those thumb studs off of there. So that was cake. Uh, it may not be as easy for you. I hope it is. I doubt it will be. Here's your Glow Rhino scales. Uh, it's not scales. These are thumb studs. I do a lot of talking about scales. And so sometimes I mix those up. These come with a little Allen wrench, a little Allen key. And uh, they come from Glow Rhino. Uh, basically just ready to rock. So I'm just going to unscrew that. And one side of these has the tritium in it. I like to put that on the presentation side of the knife, so the front side of the knife compared to the back side of the knife. So I'm going to just drop that in there. So the last thing I'm going to recommend before we seal this up is just take a drop of blue Loctite and drop it on there. And you can use the uh, whatever blue Loctite makes you happy. This is uh, one that I had kicking around. So I just threw a drop of blue Loctite on there and then I'm just going to screw this on there hand tight initially. And then I'll come and grab this Allen key that's included and stick it in there and just tighten it right up. And then you have a tritium thumb stud on your knife, ready to go. You'll want to just kind of over the next couple days, just check that your work is, is good. If you wanted to red Loctite this, this might be a time where you're like never going back, getting that tramp stamp tattoo, whatever you want to do. Red Loctite it. Put it in place forever. Uh, me, I have a tendency to swap things out, so I have only blue loctite it, just for my own satisfaction there. But you can see... Essentially, the knife that I have here is a baby banter that has been Frankensteined into a delightful place where basically you've got aftermarket scales, you've got an aftermarket thumb stud, and uh, it's beautiful. I love it. So I love this stuff. Again, you have voided your warranty with Wii, so keep that in mind, but... Uh, Oh, that makes me happy. Oh yeah. Guys, thanks for watching our little thumb stud swap on the banter series. Let us know in the comments if you have any questions. We'll try to answer them as quick as we can. And thanks for uh, hopping on the nav train and enjoying what we're doing. We appreciate you guys and uh, keep rocking and rolling.